Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will do, or we will discuss, logarithmic functions. Last time, we have uploaded a video, or videos, with regard to the exponential functions. And this time, ang magiging focus natin is all about logarithmic function. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, we have here logarithmic function. A logarithmic function is a function in the form f of x is equal to the logarithm of x to the base of b. Or we, we can also represent logarithmic function in terms of y, which is y is equal to the logarithm of x to the base of b. We know that this one is a functional notation wherein your f of x is equal to y and your y is equal to f of x. So we can represent logarithmic function in two different ways. Wherein, meron time restriction, dapat daw your base b is greater than 0 but not equal to 1. And another thing that you need to know about the logarithmic function is that logarithmic function is considered as the inverse of an exponential function. Or, uh, malalaman niyo mong bakit siya logarithmic function in the next part of our videos, pero bibigyan kayo ng clue uh, that it talks about the domain in range of logarithmic function versus the domain in range of exponential functions. So, since uh, logarithmic function is the inverse of exponential function, another thing that you need to know about logarithmic function is that we can express logarithmic functions into its equivalent uh, exponential form and vice versa. Ibig sabihin nun, your exponential function or exponential form can be represented also in logarithmic function. So ito siya. If you have y is equal to the, log the logarithm of x to the base of b, it is equal to x is equal to b raised to y. Wherein, as you can see, your base b is the same here. Base pa rin siya. Wherein, ang ginawa lang naman dito is that you will remove the logarithm, the log, and yung base mo, you will raise it by y, and then equal to x. Same with this one. Pwede mo siyang express into the logarithmic function. So, for you to understand well about these two forms, I have here two different activities where in, in the first part, we will write each logarithmic equation to exponential form. And don't worry kasi, uh, baka sabihin nyo twisted yung magiging topic na lang. Don't worry kasi, uh, dadandahan nyo natin yung discussion natin. In the next part, we will write exponential equation to logarithmic form. As you can see, I reverse natin yung process. I hope na hindi rin ma-reverse yung pag-iisip nyo. So let's start with number 1. We are given the logarithm of 36 to the base of 6 is equal to 2. Ngayon, ito yung formation natin, guys. Ito yung formation natin. So paano po natin gagawin yan? Okay? So as you can see, para ma-convert mo to into, into its equivalent exponential form, una, isulat mo muna yung kanyang base. Okay? The base here is 6. Okay? This is your base. This is your x. And this is your y. So, follow mo lang. Your base here is this. And then, as you can see, your base is raised by y. And 2 is your y. So, this is 6 raised to 2. Is equal to your x, which is your x is 36. So, as you can see, the equivalent exponential form of the logarithm, logarithm of 36 to the base of 6 is equal to, is, simple, uh, is simply 6 raised to 2 is equal to 36. Again, let me repeat. Yung base natin, which is 6 raised by y, which is 2, that is equal to your x, which is 36. So, I hope na nakuha niya yung first example natin. Now, let's continue with item number 2. We have the logarithm of 25 to the base of 5 is equal to 2. Now, sir, paano po yan? So, identify mo na natin which one is the base. This is your base. So, we can have here b equal to 
5. And another thing, your base is raised by y, and this is her y, so you're going to have here 5 raised to 2. Another thing, you have your equal to x, and your x here is 25. So that's why the equivalent exponential form of the logarithm of 25 to the base of 5 is equal to 2. It's simply 5 squared is equal to 25. But for sure, if you're aware on how to use the loss of exponents, hindi ka mawawala dito. Okay? So let's continue. We are given, rewrite each exponential equation to logarithmic form. I reverse natin to guys. Okay? So dito, in number 1, we are given, in number 3 rather, we are given 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8. So identify natin which one is the base. Your base here, so let me use a red marker. Do I have a red marker here? Wait for a while. What a red marker. Okay. So here, this is your base. This is your y. And this is your x. And going back to our formation, here's our formation. Magdadagdag lang tayo ng logarithm. Ng log. So what we will do is transform this as this. We have y. This is your y is 3. So we have here 3. Okay. Is equal to the logarithm of your x. Remember that form, which is 8 to the base of 2. Or you can also express this as the logarithm. Let me remove this. Logarithm of 8 to the base of 2 is equal to 3. Kahit alin sa dalawang to, pwede yan kasi um, they're equal. Now let's continue with item number 4. We are given 6 raised to negative 2 is equal to 1 over 36. Going back with that one, kailangan nyo munang identify which one is the base x and y. Here, this is your base, b. This is your y, and this is your x. So, ito, yung, ito na lang formation na gagamitin ko para magkaroon tayo standard form. So, to convert this into the equivalent logarithmic form, all you need to do is to put log and then your x, which is 1 over 36. Your base, which is 6 here, is equal to negative 2. As simple as that, guys. Now, if you have any question, pwede nyo i-clarify sa ating comment section. Now, let's continue. Sir, paano po yan? Um, there is a logarithmic equation na algebraic. We have 10 raised to 2 is equal to 36, 3x minus 5. Okay, mali ito. Gamitin nyo muna yung technique natin. Identify your base, which is 10. This is your y, and this is your x. Kahit gano'n pa ka bang expression yan, as long as tama information natin, okay lang yan. So, to convert this into logarithmic form, you have log your base which is 10, logarithm of 10, okay? Ah, logarithm of, oh, wala tayo bigla. Logarithm of 3x, sorry, minus 5, because that is our x, to the base of 10 is equal to your y which is 2. Ito na mismo yung sagot natin for number 5. I hope guys na you learn something from this video on how to uh, express logarithmic function to its equivalent exponential form. And if you have any question or request a topic about this video or uh, for the future topic you have in your classroom, feel free to comment down below and please uh, consider uh, liking and subscribing to our channel. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.